thank you so much for joining my Panbo making class. My name is Chuck Hong, and currently I'm being part of Camera Obscure Art Labs classes. So, online class. It is our first time doing this, and we are very excited. This third week of class, I'll be teaching Chogori, which is traditional Korean top. Um, since last time I made a Chima like wrap skirt for females, but I decide to share how to make female top like chogori for your teddy bear. So I was thinking which part of this chogori construction is most difficult, and I realized um almost right before the last step when you put everything together and uh turn it inside out uh, you have to kind of put them together in a fashion that can be sewn together and flip it so you have like every seam everything is kind of hidden underneath the layers so I looked through some videos that I made and I found perfect clip for that so I'm just gonna share that with you guys and before I show you the video I have to um, tell you guys uh, from last two classes I learned it helps a lot if everyone can download the patterns and cut them out and also cut the fabrics out um, honestly I don't know why but it takes a long time to cut the fabrics out whenever I do for my own projects it's a part of the longest like steps then most time consuming steps that I have for some reason so let's get to it this might go over like two three hours of the full class time so if we just start cutting them out right now it will kind of help us out to just get to the chase right at the beginning of the class so giving you guys heads up and here's the clip and let me explain a little bit more to you and we'll start from there. So here we are. I have assembled them together. So all the bottom part of the shirts and also tip of the arm is all assembled together. And as you can see, I also did for the front ones, I also did the uh, middle part so they are all put together and goal is to have this shape and ready to be sewn together but at this moment you can't really do it so way you assemble it or fold it to have seamless looking shirt is to start from the inside so I usually go for the um, front flap and then turn the inside out to go match and line up so as you can see the back panel have that away from you and flip the front panel like from the corner push that out and line the part that is not being sewn together with the same unsewn part like the body part of the back panel while sliding that right underneath the pad or well, the fabric and once you do that your arm will automatically fold to the right way so you just have to kind of clean up so on zone parts all the things should be lined up all four fabrics should be lined up two of the same fabrics should actually meet up each other's and have a contact same thing goes with the other side so the corner that has been assembled and then flip it so all the corners has to be lined up so from arm flip the corner so open up and grab the corner that's been all sewn together pull it out and once you pull that out 
slide it right under the fabric and drag it so you can line up the part that has been unsewn again just like that take your time and try to match the very corner like corner to corner together and again the same fabric has to have contact to each other's for you to have the right shape and right construction it seems a little complicated so i highly recommend you guys to watch it again and once you fold them the right way you just have to line up neatly and then pin them down before we go for almost last step of making hanbok shirt so at the end the shape has to be looking like that and we're gonna put these lines together using sewing machine all right so that was a clip goal is to kind of flip it and line them up and have the unsewn part except for the color unsewn part like underarm and the side of the body all lined up in certain ways so whenever we kind of attach them together sew them together and once we flip through the hole on the shirt like around the neck then we will have structure that is not um, showing any of the seams so i highly recommend you guys to watch this part again or for several more times i do have some video online available already to show you how does um construction of chogori works already so watch those videos and if you guys have any questions email me or you can just simply leave me a comment down then we'll start from there again thank you so much for joining and can't wait to see you guys <laughs>